everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be creating this super bright acrylic design set with some 3d some mylar flakes and a bit of everything so if you'd like to see how I created this please keep watching So in today's video I'm going to be working on my red iguana practice hand. I've applied my tips, done my clear base and I'm doing two extended nail beds, one on the pinky and one on the index finger. All the products I'm using today are from Glitter Bells of course. So I'm just building up that extended nail bed using Peach Bell Cover Shimmer and this is a core powder from Glitter Bells. Now moving on to the middle finger and I'm doing a full nail of this Peach Bell Cover Shimmer and I'm starting off by placing my bead at the tip and just building that free edge up. I'm now placing another bead and I'm blending some of that bead back up towards the cuticle area as I start to build up the strength and structure of this nail. I'm now placing a bead in the apex area and I'm patting it out at the back and just blending the front of that bead over the rest of the nail. Now moving on to the ring finger and I'm just doing a glitter line down the side of that nail. This is a loose glitter so I am just picking up a teeny tiny bead of glass slippers and then dipping it into my glitter and working it on the nail. Make sure that you pat your glitter down so it lays flat, that way you don't build up any bulk. And I'm trying to keep this line as straight as possible with my brush, but I will come in and file it anyway. Now that glitter's set, I'm coming in with a bead of glass slippers and I'm just capping that glitter line. Okay. 
and I'm doing exactly the same on the thumb. Now coming in with my metal file and I'm going to file that edge until it's nice and straight and crisp. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of the nail with dragon fruit. This is a coloured acrylic and will require capping as well. I also do the same on the thumb so I'll just let you watch this. I've now filed both of these smile lines and I'm just coming in with the dragon through again. Don't worry about getting it onto the nail bed because we can always file this off later on. I've now filed the smile line and I'm coming in with Glitterbell's Hot Flake and this is just like a Mylar pre meets Glitter and I'm just adding a bit to that smile line. Now all the nails have been capped and filed and this is how we are looking. I'm coming in on the middle finger and I'm just doing a coat of matte top coat on this finger as I'm going to be doing some 3D work. So I'm coming in with my gem gel and I'm just placing a gem as a centre of my flower 
and then I'm just going round the edge with some teeny tiny gems and then I will start my 3D work So coming in with Glitter Bell's Dragon Fruit again and I'm just going to start creating my flower. Obviously I've not left this in real time because you do have to allow the beads to set a little bit before pressing them out to make your petal shape. and that's this design done guys so i really do hope you've enjoyed this design today i absolutely love this color it is a favorite of mine so i'm coming in and i'm just top coating all those nails and then i will cure them in the lamp for 60 seconds i will leave a products list uh, in the description box and there's also some discount codes in there as well so take a look at those if you have enjoyed this design today guys please give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and help my channel grow and i will catch you all in my next video thanks for watching guys bye